In today's video, I'm gonna tell you why vending contracts or agreements don't matter, okay? I see a lot of people saying you wanna get contracts on your accounts, you wanna get agreements so you can't lose the account. Well, I'm here to tell you from firsthand experience, that doesn't matter. Contracts, uh, in some cases, may help, but in the majority of cases, the only thing that matters in vending is service. If you're doing a good job service, you're filling the machines, you're taking care of your customers, it's gonna, it's gonna keep you in the account. To have a piece of paper there that says you, you have to be here for a year isn't, and you don't fill the machines right, you're not gonna get that account. I don't care what your contract says. And if they kick you out and you think you're gonna go get a lawyer and pay thousands of dollars to enforce a vending contract, I got another thing coming for you, that ain't happening. So contracts and agreements are, are a way to make you feel comfortable, to make you feel uh, like you're buying an account that has a contract on it. But in reality, if you're at a business, the business gets to determine who comes into their property. If there's machines located on their property, you don't get to determine that. So they're gonna kick you out if they want you out. So now let's say that you don't have a contract on a property and someone comes in and says they're gonna, they're gonna take your account and uh, they, they're gonna put, in a, put a contract in place. That's fine. I'll give you a quick example of something that happened to us. We had a nursing home that we had, we were doing good service, they got a new boss. The boss of the nursing home said, we wanna switch our vending service to this new, new service, this new company that's gonna give us microwaves, they're gonna give us all these things that I knew the account couldn't deliver on, on uh, paying for those so long story short the account switched they kicked us out we lost the account um, we didn't have a contract and they kicked us out I said no problem we left on good terms I said if anything changes let us know so I checked in with them three months later they had empty machines they were using uh, their their the guy that was filling it was doing it out of back of his car and he had melted chocolate going into the machines. He wouldn't even put Coke or Mountain Dew products. He was using Walmart brand checks or Winn-Dixie or Publix branded drinks. He wasn't even putting in name brand drinks. So I went back in, talked to him. They had a four year, four year contract in place. The next month our machines were back in there. So he had a four year ironclad contract and everything was great. Guess what? Those don't matter. Service matters. So don't get lost in contracts and agreements thinking that they're the most important thing. The most important thing you can do to keep an account is provide great service and do the best you can with customer service. So um, that's my thoughts on vending contracts. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you're interested in learning more about the vending business, you can always follow our Instagram page at Hill Vending Services where we post a lot of good content uh, for you guys. So until next time, keep your drinks cold and your snacks fresh.